Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. Today's story is going to be about Aladdin race in the desert. Okay, let's get started. Jasmine and Aladdin were strolling across the palace grounds. One evening when the Sultan ran out onto the balcony, Drat the sultan cried, Oh, drat, drat, drat. That dratted desert race. Jasmine was surprised. Usually her father loved the desert race. Every year, the best riders from Agraba competed against those of the neighboring kingdom of Zagraba. The fastest horse and rider were awarded the prized golden palm trophy. What's the matter, father? Jasmine asked. The sultan shook his head sadly. I just heard that Prince Faiz will be riding for Zagraba again. His horse is so fast. He's won the race the last three years in a row. I have no idea, Father, Jasmine said eagerly. I could ride midnight in the desert race this year. He's the fastest horse in Agraba. Oh, dear me, no. The Sultan looked shocked at the, at the very suggestion. The desert race can be dangerous. I won't have my daughters risking her neck like that. How about if I ride midnight in the race? Aladdin spoke up. The Sultan's face brightened immediately. What a splendid idea, he cried. You'll have such fun, my boy. The next day, Aladdin and Jasmine went to the stables. As soon as Aladdin was on midnight, the horse threw him. Nobody but Jasmine had ever ridden him. Let me help, said the princess. Midnight gave her no trouble as usual. The horse was ready to go. Aladdin sung onto midnight's back, but the horse still didn't want to cooperate. He kicked up his heels and sent Aladdin flying. Aladdin brushed himself off. Here, let me try, Jasmine said. She easily climbed onto the saddle. Midnight happily carried her around the stable yard do, doing everything she asked. Let me ride in the race, Father Jasmine urged. The Sultan didn't seem to hear her. Perhaps we can find Aladdin another fast horse. He didn't look hopeful, though don't worry, Aladdin said, I'll think of something. The day of the race arrived. Riders from Zagraba parried into Agraba. Faiz ro rode in on his impressive white stallion desert warrior. I don't know why we bothered to bring the golden palm trophy, Faiz announced hoggedly. We'll only have to carry it back to Zagraba later. Fans from both kingdoms gathered to watch the race. Soon the riders took their places at the starting line. The Sultan looked at Aladdin. What an odd looking horse that boy is riding. I wonder why I have never seen it before. But he didn't have time to worry about that. Now, where is Jasmine? He wondered. It's time to start the race. The princess was now here, nowhere to be found.
We can't wait any longer, I suppose, the Sultan raised a flag to signal the start of the race. One, two, three. And they are off. The, rise, the riders galloped into the desert. A black horse with mysterious wheel rider took the lead right away. As soon as they were out of the view of the palace, the rider threw off the wheel. It was Jasmine. I do hate going against father's wishes. She whispered to Midnight, but I just had to prove that you were the fastest. Aladdin was curious about the rider on the black horse. Jasmine, he gasped, and when he saw her. Just then, his horse spotted the cool, inviting water of an oasis. Now, that's more like it, exclaimed the horse, except the horse was actually the genie. He jumped into the water and took the shape of the seahorse. Hey, this wasn't part of the plan, Aladdin cried. Don't worry, eh, the genie said. We'll, watch, we'll catch up. Gotta stay hydrated, you know. On land, Jasmine and Midnight galloped off without a backward glance. Faiz and Desert Warrior were starting to catch up. They were shocked when they saw the princess Faiz didn't want to lose to her. Jasmine urged Midnight on, but the other horse was very fast. Finally, Desert Warrior pulled her head. Give up now, Faiz shouted. That trophy will always belong to Zagraba. But Midnight wasn't finished yet. He surged forward again. He passed Desert Warrior. Not, too, not so fast, Jasmine called to Faiz with a laugh. That trophy is in Agraba, and that's where it is going to stay. Faiz and warrior stayed on Midnight's Hill until the horses had, had to jump a ditch that crossed the path. Midnight sailed over easily, but the warrior skidded to a spot. Stop. With the other team out of running, it seemed there was nothing to keep Jasmine and Midnight from winning. But then the princess heard the, the sound of hoof, hoof beats close behind her. What? She cried looking back. It was Aladdin. Jasmine hadn't even known he was still in the race. Soon Aladdin and his mystery horse had caught up and he and Jasmine were fighting for the lead. Jasmine was glad that the trophy would stay in Agraba, no matter which one of them won. But she really wanted to prove that Midnight was the fastest horse in the two kingdoms. She urged him on. The two horses were neck and neck as they neared the finish line. First, Midnight pulled, uh, pulled ahead a tiny bit. Then Aladdin's horse did, but neither could keep the lead. And so the two horses crossed the finish line at the same time. As soon as Midnight slowed to, to a stop, Jasmine jumped off, gave her tired horse a hug and led him to the water through. Then she walked over to Aladdin. Congratulations, she said. Same to you, Jasmine replied. But where in the world did you find such a fast, fast horse? Uh, Aladdin looked at him. Aladdin looked at his horse. Then he looked at his feet. Um, that's, that is, he didn't seem to know what to say. Surprise, 
the genie cried, transforming back into his usual form. Jasmine gasped, Genie, that was you. Sorry, princess, the genie said, winking. We were just horsing around. Aladdin grinned sheepishly. It was, a, it was my idea. I couldn't bear that the thought of Zagraba winning again this year. Oh dear, the Sultan said, the rules state that it must be a horse and rider team. Not a genie and a rider team. I am afraid this disqualifies you two from the race. Then he smiled. And that means Jasmine and Midnight are the winners? Jasmine changed into a new outfit. And the award ceremony, she patted Midnight. Jasmine had always known her horse was fast. But she never imagined he could beat a genie. Okay, this is the end of the story. I will see you guys in the next storytelling. Bye. Take care.